Hortense and the Shadow by Natalia and Lauren O'Hara. Through the dark and wolfish woods, through the white and silent snow, lived a small girl called Hortense. Though kind and brave, she was sad as an owl because of one thing. Hortense hated her shadow. Everywhere she went, it went. Everything she did, it did. And every time night fell, it grew. Tall and dark and crooked. So Hortense started hiding her shadow behind columns, under sofas, and in holes. But every time she hid it, her shadow grew worse and worse and worse. I hate you, shadow, yelled Hortense. Then one bright morning, her shadow lay dark on a step. As she fell, Hortense knew her shadow hated her too. When evening came, Hortense crept out to the yard and then she dashed over the grass, up the wall, through the window, and as a raven cried in a willow tree, she slammed the sash down and cut off her shadow. The shadow howled and kicked and scratched the glass, ran over the lawn, and then at last was lost in the dusk. Now the days are as bright as the first winter snow. Gone, 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 sings Hortense. Only sometimes she feels like someone is watching, quiet in the darkest corner. But the shadow is gone, she thinks. Now I am safe. The night was black and full of strange sounds. Wind flew through the woods like a pack of wild dogs. Long after midnight, the door shook with knocks. Hortense woke with a jolt. She slipped out of bed, down the stairs, through the hall, out the door, and then she saw nothing, just the dark. But then her eyes grew used to the dark and she saw one star, torn clouds, black trees, and... Bandits! Oh, bandits! cried Hortense. There's nothing here, no jewels, nor books, nor gold cuckoo clocks, and the house is full of people. But laughing and snorting and shaking their fists, the bandits came closer, and as they crept in on every side... Something dark and terrible flashed high above. The bandits watched with round, open mouths. A hunter, a baker, a farmer, a bear. And the bandits, stumbling, tumbled away. The night was still. Snow fell on snow. A lonely owl cried, and the bear turned away. Wait, shouted Hortense. She leapt up a tree, reached for the bear, and touched her shadow. Oh, shadow, said Hortense. I saw things all wrong. In the dark, you were long to make me taller. On prickly white days, you shaded my eyes. You stretched for miles to show how far I can go. What's a page without ink, or a deer without spots, or a moon without night? You're part of me, Shadow. Please come back. She reached for her shadow, and her shadow reached back.
They leapt and they crowed and they danced in the sun. From that day to this day, wherever she goes, her shadow goes too. And if it is sometimes dark, fierce, strange, silly, jagged, or blue, well, sometimes Hortense is too. The end.